No, because I can see my hairy armpits. Get out of there! I look, I'm really busy, okay? That's why my armpits are hairy. I just forget. I get in the shower, then I get out of the fucking shower. Hi guys, I wanted to make a tutorial for like a fall inspired look because some of you guys were asking me to just do a fall look. I don't know what it is about fall, but like bitches love fall. Something about the goddamn leaves turning colors. It like releases something in us. So I just decided to do fall makeup. But really I kind of look like a mistress who like slept with your husband and then murdered him afterwards. Right? I kind of do. I hope you like this tutorial and let's just go. Ready? Go. Okay, I'm clipping my hair back with a um, McDonald's napkin. This will prevent it from creasing if you put a napkin or a tissue. Boom. It looks crazy, but. No one's supposed to see you, really. Okay, I am not going to prime my skin because I'm really dry right now, so I'm just mainly gonna put like hydration on it. I'm gonna start with the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Lift and Firm Prism Cream. I used this before I moved, and then once I moved, I thought I lost it, and I found it, now it's back. Putting this on, it's gonna give me an all over glow. You can put it on just specific areas, or you can mix it in with your foundation, but it's really pretty and it helps with hydration, which I need, and then gives luminosity. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the Danessa Vision Cream Cover. I was using this for a minute and then I kind of stopped because I got really, really dry and it just wasn't looking good on my skin. Found that if I just mix it with an oil or a moisturizer, it works beautifully. I look absolutely terrifying. I'm blending that out with my sponge. If you hear a lot of background noise, that's because there is a lot of background noise happening, so I apologize. Let me start yelling. We will make it work. I'm taking the foundation in a lighter shade. So this is TY01, and I'm gonna use this as my concealer. It gives a, I mean, this foundation gives a really full coverage. It covers everything. Um, so I just like to use the foundation as my concealer. It's really like your all-in-one product. It's so good. And they have, well, she has a huge, range of colors, so there's every skin tone in there. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan Day Chanel. I'm gonna use this guy. I hate that I say I'm gonna use. I don't even say I'm going to take, or I, I say I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this guy with, where'd my brush go? I'm going to lightly come along my hairline, my temple, hollow of my cheek, my jawline, and then once I apply the product, I take my sponge and then I just lightly go over it to really blend it out. I did a really sloppy job right now, so <laughs> gotta fix that. When you go over it with your sponge, it'll blend it right into the skin, making it look more natural and soft. It also really fix your mistakes for you. This is the Wet n Wild. I think this is supposed to be a unicorn thing. It's that brush. And the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I am going to set my under eye. I've got a lot of product going on under here. Don't want it creasing or going anywhere on me. Down the center of my nose, middle of my forehead, above my lip where I get sweat mustache, and my chin. This will prevent me from getting super shiny. I'm just really mattified, so if I touch my face, I'm not wiping anything off. Oh, I got it in my eye. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't panic. I filled in my eyebrows. I don't like to do it on camera just because I just don't, but I'll link it down below the video where I did my eyebrows, an eyebrow tutorial down below if you wanna check it out. But I did use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette because I forgot my brow products at home. So I just used this to do my brows. Now that we got that out the way, I also forgot an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to lightly just dust that Laura Mercier Translucent Powder on. This is Purgatory by um, Black Moon Cosmetics. It's a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna use this as an eyeliner for my eyes. Now, they don't claim that you can use it on the eyes, so use at your own discretion. I just don't want somebody to have a reaction and then come and yell at me. It is cruelty-free and vegan, but I'm gonna use it as a, um, an eyeliner. This brush I got at Michael's Craft Store. It's a paint brush, but it works well for eyeliner. Oh, I just creased it. Damn it. I think I'm just gonna turn this into like a graphic liner because I didn't put eyeshadow on. And I just creased it, so I might as well just go like this. Oh. 
I'm just cleaning up the edges. So I just did a wing liner and then I connected it all the way across my crease, leaving the negative space open. I did the other eye. It's a little fucked up to be completely honest with you, but like I just did an eye lift. But I'm just gonna keep going. I'm dusting off the Laura Mercier powder and then maybe I'll fix it. No, 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 just go. Let's do this one. This is Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I wanna use this bronzer shade first. So right along my hairline, my temple, coming into the hollow of my cheek. I'm lightly going over the bronzer with my sponge to push it into the skin. This is Rapture Blush. No, it's not. This is Urban Decay Blush in TMI. I'm gonna put lashes on. It'll fix my mistakes. So I'm gonna put on the Kara Lashes number 38, and I'll be right back. So here's what I did while we were away, while you were away. I've just filled in the whole liner. Sometimes you just gotta improvise. It's the only way to make it work. I drank way too much coffee today. I have the shakes, like bad. Build the whole thing in, it's still cute, okay? I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner, and I'm gonna just, and I'm gonna just come right to the waterline. A matte eyeshadow, like a matte brown, really from any palette you have. I'm gonna just, if I say I'm gonna, I can't, I can't with myself. I'm gonna put this along the lower lash line. This will help hide my wrinkles. Oh, I just stab my eye. Because I want my eyes to look a little bit longer, instead of short and small, I'm gonna extend the liner in my tear duct. Just right in there. Okay, I'm going to add a highlight to my cheeks. But which one? Let's do Wet n Wild. This is the highlight Highlighting powder in Blossom Glow. Give myself some glow. MAC Lip Liner in Cherry. I'm going to take a shot for every time I say I'm going to. You'll be dead. I don't know why I use such a bright lip liner when I'm going to actually. I'm taking Make It Forever Liquid Lipstick in 505. It doesn't, it's just gonna, okay. I don't know my thought process with this lip liner. For shits and giggles, I'm gonna add this Black Moon Liquid Lipstick in Immortal on top. It's gonna give really pretty like velvety. Oh, I had lipstick on my teeth, Sonic. I should tell me. I have to pee so bad. You gotta finger your mouth in order to get all of the lipstick off of the inner rim so you won't get it on your teeth. So you go like this. All that, okay? That's what you do. Now take that and use it. We're good. And this is the finished look I created. Do you like it? Do you love it? Are you gonna try it at home? Let me know down below. Not the look I was going for, but it's still pretty. I mean, like, I still like it a lot. I hope you like it too. It's pretty easy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring my bell. I hope you have a really great day today. Make good choices, and I will see you guys later. Bye! No, get out of there. I'm just kidding. Okay, get back. Stop being so close. Testing. One, two, three. Welcome to Radio Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> or should I do red or should I do nude? I think dark. Hi. Okay. Oh, my name is Bailey Sarian too, if you don't know. Okay, thanks.